Good evening and welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment in Canada, around the world. My name is Tahir I. Krashi. I'm your host tonight. We'll have a topic about home seller closing checklist. Because of COVID and um, challenges that we have moving around, storing, making arrangement, uh, transportation, other arrangement that you have to do. People forget uh, certain documents, certain uh, arrangement uh, that you are not able to do that. So what we're going to talk about when a transaction has been formed, a deal has been transmitted to the lawyer who's executing it. What steps that you have to take to make sure that your transaction completes? The most important thing in closing is gathering all the documents. When you are selling a property, you have to make sure the lawyer has your mortgage statement that you have sent out to him. A copy the way lawyer will call the, your lender and get the, the financial uh, final statement. Make sure that you are with the lawyer, you have signed all the deeds and transfer document that you're supposed to do that. Sometimes you forget to provide line of credit, which is home equity line that you have used with the house. It will has to be terminated. So make sure you provide all the information relevant to the agreement of purchase and sale because you are selling a property. Also, you are buying a properties and simultaneously to make sure the buying and selling, if it's taking place on the same day, all the document for the buying side is also complete. The most important thing is to make sure all the documents are signed, all the all the, the mortgage document, transfer or deeds document, ownership, and, and uh, mortgage information. Everything has been submitted because the the lawyer, when they transfer your property in your name, you have to register a deed. And also, they have to discharge all the financial obligations you have, which is your mortgage, your line of credit, or any lien you have on the title. So this is very important that you gather all the documents and make sure every step of the way is done. You will be talking to your realtor to make sure the buyer on the other side is proceeding, the buyer has also arranged the mortgages. So that is your realtor will be talking to the listing broker because you are a listing broker, a brokerage who is selling the property. He will be consulting with the buyer to make sure all arrangement from the buyer side has been completed. Even though the transaction takes place between the lawyers, once the agreement has purchased the sale has been signed, on close day, all condition has been removed. So you have handy. Sometimes a lawyer miss an amendment to the agreement or inspection you're supposed to waive a condition if some uh, make sure that all conditions were waived uh, prior to closing date. Sometimes you have a very quick buy uh, sale and therefore you have, don't have much time. So make sure agreement of purchase and sale, all the waiver has been removed or fulfilled and also to make sure your mortgage information, your document with your lawyers are complete. Because if you do not complete them or something is missing, it will delay a, a transaction and they will be incurring additional costs for that. So this is very important to make sure you focus on your documentation, that you have delivered all the document to your lawyer as per your agreement of purchase and sale, the ownership or utilities, or sometime if you have lease agreement, you took the lease, um, for, for example, for um, your uh, air conditioning system, your furnaces, you have lease to own or lease that you're paying. Make sure that lease is transferable and those are transmitted to your lawyer. So the buyer has to assume that lease as a part of the agreement of purchase and sale. So make sure that all disclosures are made and documents are complete. When the lawyer says, I am satisfied and everything is ready, 
that means you are now ready to to move. And it's normally happened in the last week of your closing. So after all documentation is complete, as a due diligence as a part of your roster uh, broker who is uh, working with you, make sure he or she is talking to the buyer representative, which is a realtor, broker, broker record, or salesperson, to make sure they are both moving toward completion of the transaction. So what is more important to you is one, you sell the property. The next step is that you have given that address, you live in there to many, many people. And when you open the credit card, you open uh, your, um, you know, line of credit, or you open a, a Home Depot card or other credit bureau, and you have friends and family. So the best thing is once you are ready to move into a closing day, you notify everybody involved. So make sure that they know as of this day, you are moving to another address, which is the, your future home. Please notify everyone. This is very important. Now, after that, what is more important? You have utility bills. You have to notify all the utilities that your transaction you going to be completed tomorrow and this house will transfer to so-and-so, the buyer. And you provide the name of the buyer where you find the name, it is on agreement of purchase and sale. So you tell them, these are your utilities. Normally what they do, they will come to your property, they will check the meter, they write down the number. So as of that day, they will cut off because remember, the day of closing belong to the buyer, not to the seller. So they will do the meter reading for the water, the electricity and gas. Doesn't matter, it's closing week down later. They will come a couple of days before that. And based on your conception, they will estimate number of days, but they will come and read your meter because they need to cut off the bill and send you a final bill. And that bill is to be paid by you. And then the new buyer, when he or she will call the utilities on that day when they're taking the position of the property, they will notify them to make sure that they, they change their name and they also notify you. Yes, uh, we we already been informed and we just want a confirmation because these are private matters. So they will not do anything until the, the, you, uh, the buyer will approach them. So this is very, very important to turn off your utilities on the closing date. Not one day before, closing date. And normally, the utilities will keep this thing running for 24, 48 hours, and, or they'll change it to a minimum use until the new buyer will call them. This is very important. The next important thing is notify your insurance, home insurance. You also, because... Home insurance, I highly recommend that when you call insurance, you tell them that day is closing, but once the property is closed, I will call you. Because if you terminate the insurance, and for some reason, because of COVID, if transaction does not complete, you will be at risk because your house insurance has been terminated. So my suggestion to you is that as a broker of Rackham City Pro Realty Inc. brokerage, that you tell insurance company that is the day it's going to be affected, but I'll call you on that day once the deal has closed. So for example, for some reason, buyer is not able to close. Most of our agreement of purchase and sale now has a provision because of COVID, something happened lay on mortgage, registration office, going off, whatever, can go to end the time. It's very common now in, in agreement of sale to include that clause. It's understood and agreed by both parties. So what happened is that you, your deal did not close, 
but your insurance expired. You terminated it. And the house is on risk for, 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 for some reason. Accident happened. Fire can take place. Some circuit breaker or some problem. House is burned. You are not protected. So it's very, very important to call the day of closing. Now go ahead and terminate. Insurance company accommodates you. They will not terminate. They will accommodate you even though you call them a little bit later. But make sure that you don't terminate on that day after closing. So you have canceled your utilities on that day. And you tell them this is the closing day. I may will call you again to remind them, but that is the date. The most important thing that happens is the buyers are excited. They want to move into your house. They bought it. It was lovely. But you need to clean up house thoroughly. This is very important because first impression is last impression. They're going to think about how loving, caring you were when you maintained the property. When they bought the property, it was nicely uh, staged and very nice, beautiful, and kept clean. And when you say, I sold the property, and you left it dirty, and you lift the cart and the garbage, all that stuff, it reflects very poorly. Some of these realtors I have suggested, they put some clause there. I put some cost for cleaning the house, depending on the size. And I think listing agent should also cooperate. There are very few sellers who will not clean the property and leave it dirty. A lot of garbage is disposed of, you put it in a garage. If you have a plenty of time to close your deal, it's very important you clean it because realtor get blamed for that. They don't own the property. It's owned by the seller. Who is selling the property? It's a seller. Who is buying the property? It's a buyer. It is not a little responsibility to come and groom your property and clean it, take up the garbage. This happens. Once in a while, happens. So it's very important to thoroughly clean the property so buyer is pleased and they see that they are being welcome in their house and, and, and in case if they need any help in terms of function, operation, or some instrument that you have, you create a, a friendship and bless them that they can enjoy their house. You have enjoyed it for several years, depending on your circumstances. So this is very important, thoroughly clean the property and, and clean. Now, what is the big challenge here? We normally, when the property is closed, you have to, as a seller, have to turn over the keys to the lawyer and, and maybe keep one key that uh, once you move out and you come back in a day later and give it to the either listing, ag uh, listing agent or uh, go to the house and give it to the buyer extra key. It is always recommended uh, for safety and security uh, for the home buyers to install your own brand new deadlocks and the property replace it. Because you don't know during the, uh, during the ownership of the property how many keys were made. So this is very important for safety and security to change the lock. However, you have the lock. You also have a garage key. This is very important. You have a, re a remote for the garage. So these, you also have a mailbox keys. Sometimes realtors struggle with getting this information from them and they are not put in place. Normal practice is to keep all the keys either in a kitchen counter, nicely put in a bag, in a drawer on the counter or in a drawer. And also you tell your lawyer that these, where the keys are stored and how many keys are for the main entry, for the uh, garage door, or openers, remote, or a, entry to the garage. So what are the keys? They cannot enter the house until um, uh, they have a main door key. 
garage entrance uh, from the house into the garage. Uh, you can have access unless you have a pad. Outside it has a number and sometimes they don't give the code for the pad outside to open the garage. So please remember to write down that number and give it to your listing agent or broker so they can share with the seller to make life easy. So you put all the keys, the report in the counter and once you have finished and in during the COVID, we have practice and it's been recommended by uh, by institutions, uh, organization, organized real estate, to leave a lockbox and put one key in there. So when you move out, shipped out, and you have one key left, instead of going and delivering to the listing agent or the brokerage or giving to the lawyer, you can give, you put a lockbox, you can ask your realtor to put a lockbox there for you and put in a key in there that is the last key, and you know that according to agreement of purchase and sale, the, you need to be out, and the buyer has to have a position exactly at 6 p.m. on the closing date. So you have time. Lots of people don't do preparation, and they are there to the last minute, and they don't even have a time to clean the property. This is not a good practice. So... As a prudent and responsible seller, we we'll appreciate because if you are selling here, you are going to somebody's house that you have bought. And how are you going to feel if your house is not clean that you left behind and you, same thing happens to you when you buy it and you go there, it's not clean and you start complaining about it. So that is why it's very important. So leave all the keys on the counter or in the kitchen drawer and tag it with a piece of paper, put it on top of the kitchen cover. All keys are here. This is very important. Because when the seller comes in, they, they get open the lockbox, they take the key out, and they call the listing agent or broker, please remove the lock. I am sure that your realtor has already removed this uh, real estate uh, yard sign already. So this is very, very important for you to make sure all keys and everything is gathered together and put on a counter or in a drawer and show a piece of paper saying where they, where they are located. Or tax your realtor or the listing listing broker, broker record or agent that where these keys are located and how many. And also notify, email your lawyer, let them know how many keys are there so they're not searching for this key. So now after keys, identified, then what is left? You have equipment. You have to collect all the manuals for the equipment. You have a furnace, you have air conditioning, you have a microwave, you have a dishwasher, you have a gas stove, fridge. There are all manuals. Some, pro uh, some of those appliances you may have bought brand new. Most recently you upgraded, they will be operational managed. Some may have a warranty. So this is a very good idea to collect all your manuals and if there are any warranties for it, for all appliances that you have bought, because when you are renovating or improving your property before selling it, you have installed certain brand new equipment. If it's an older one, definitely it's not possible and people can Google it. The other source of information for manual is Google. You can Google it and you can download video and sometimes manuals available. But as a good seller, it's a good, make it a good practice to collect all the manuals. When I bought my house, I have all the manuals. This house is 30 years old in Credit Mills, but we have all the manuals. Now we are changing some, we are changing some appliances. So we have a new manual in case we decide to sell and we can pass it on. What happened is sometimes someone is using, something goes wrong. Some people are not familiar with the new equipment. They need to read the manual. This is very important. How to operate, setting time, temperature, or fridge, changing your filter, how you change your filter. If people have not used a, 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 a freezer or fridge that has a 
you know, a manual how to select the cube or crush eyes, how to change the filter, this manual become handy. This is why it's very impor important. You have a furnace. If somebody has a furnace log that shows how often this furnace has been maintained or maintenance was provided, you also have a air conditioning. How, how often do you are changing your filter? So if you look at the manufacturing manual, it tell you when to change these filters. It's very important. So you are really helping uh, your uh, seller. So let's assume that this is the last day. The next day, tomorrow is closing. So, or one day before that. So you need to shut off all your wall because you don't want to leave water leakage in the house. It's very, very important. You shut off all the walls to make sure the water is not leaking if anything happens. And notify the, the buyer, a, a real estate broker or agent through lawyer that, that water has been shut down and a wall has been shut down. They need to activate them before they start using the water, for example. More water is the most damaging uh, 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 item in the house because in the inside the house there are dry walls and wood. If some leakage happen in the plumbing uh, or water pipeline or brushed for some reason, whatever reason, it's going to damage it coming from second floor, going to the main floor and down place. And it, what will happen if you have that at night and next you're closing and there is a problem in the house. So best thing is to shut down the water, all walls, so there is no water traveling through the pipe system. This is very important. And electricity, unnecessary lights needs to be shut down and only minimum operation that is required for the house need to be operated. This is very important. Now, obviously, you are expecting a buyer to make a final visit. So it's very, very important that you prepare the property. And if you plan to move one or two days before the closing, clean the property, get it ready, and then speak to your realtor who has listed your property. He said, listen, if buyer wants to visit, it's time to do it now. Because of COVID, uh, the visit to the property has been minimized. Only buyer and seller, wife and husband, uh, in, oh, and one realtor will go there. And majority of the time, the, the seller has opened up all the, the windows inside, uh, window doors, uh, and so lights are on, and nobody touches anything because of COVID. So make sure you have a sanitizer, you are wearing gloves, or wearing a mask, keeping social distance when you are in the house, and do not touch anything. And once this inspection is done, buy it happy and uh, and everything is gone. So he's gone satisfied. He hasn't any complaint against anything. You don't switch appliances. This is very important. When you have agreement of purchase and sale, you have a virtual tools, you have videos that shows pictures, that shows appliances, channel that you have included in it agreement of purchase sale, they were in MLS. So this is very important that in, in case there is a, a mistake and an error, uh, you know, is a stainless fridge and somebody put a fridge only in agreement of purchase sale and the seller said, I'm not, he's only says fridge, I'm removing the stainless steel and putting uh, the, the white fridge, which is cheaper. So idea is a good it's a meeting of mind, good gesture, that whatever you're selling, you put on MLS and you disclose if you plan to remove or exclude certain channel, please disclose them on MLS. And when they are putting an agreement of purchase sale, make sure you watch and see those disclosures are made. All those items that you identify in agreement of purchase sale are included. And if they are excluded, they are replaced with something of equal value. So this is very important to make sure that you are 
following this you you, you have given a full uh, commitment to the seller and to the buyer that when you come back what you see that's what you're going to get and uh, we recommend our realtors to write down the model numbers stainless steel and serial numbers of the uh, chattels to avoid any kind of uh, happening where people are switching so if that doesn't show a good faith is very important that we honor that so you are watching realty coffee talk or avaz entertainment my name is tairai krishi i'm a fellow of real estate chief of canada real estate broker of record for city pro realty inc brokerage you are watching realty coffee talk on avaz entertainment we we're going to take a short break we'll come back and we we'll continue to have a conversation if you wish to advertise on realty coffee talk on avaz entertainment please call samin samina javeen at 416-786-9809 and she will give you, give you a very special discount for advertising on avaz entertainment in canada on the word we're going to take a break we'll come back to you shortly पाकिस्तान का सबसे मशहूर एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग ग्रेन मुगल बासमती राइस अवेलेबल इन बोथ व्हाइट एंड सिला होम डिलीवरी इज अवेलेबल सब्जेक्ट टू मिनिमम ऑर्डर एंड रेडियस आल्सो अवेलेबल एट योर नेबरहुड फ्रेश को मजीद मालूम के लिए आज ही कॉन्टेक्ट करें फाइव वन फोर डबल सिक्स थ्री जीरो फोर एट जीरो आरोप या ऑर्डर करें हमारे फेसबुक ऐसी बनाए ये रमजान और भी खास मुगल बासमती के साथ द प्रीमियम चॉइस फॉर प्रीमियम टेस्ट दो हजार बीस का लाजवाब ऑफर जहां हम जीरो परसेंट फाइनेंसिंग पर आपकी मन पसंद कार दे रहे हैं फ्री विंटर टायर्स और साथ ही हम मुफ्त ऑयल चेंज भी दे रहे हैं वो भी उम्र भर के लिए अभी आए और इस लाजवाब ऑफर का लुत्फ ले जल्दी करें आपका खुश हमारे आउटलेट में जो कि 60 क्विंट्स प्ले ड्राइव एट इंटरसेक्शन क्लोज टू हाईवे 27 एंड रेजिडेंट ऑपोजिट टू वुड बैन रेस ड्राइव जल्द से जल्द इस ऑफर का लुत्फ लें। आज ही कॉल करें सुनील अग्रवाल को 647-703-0218 देखिए खेल की आवाज हर पीर शाम सात बजे आज की बात समीना जबीन के साथ हर मंगल रात आठ बजे इस्लाम इन मॉडर्न टाइम हर मंगल और जुमा शाम छह बजे कनेडियन मोजे हर बुध रात आठ बजे रियलिटी कॉफी टॉक हर जुमे रात शाम सात बजे नाइट टॉक हर जुमा शाम सात बजे देखिए तकरार कीजिए तकरार समीना जबीन के साथ हर रोज रात नौ बजे और रिपीट सुबह नौ बजे आप देख रहे हैं आवाज इंटरटेनमेंट आवाज आपकी चैनल हमारा जुड़िए हमसे आज की एक अच्छी बात Good evening and welcome to Reality Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment in Canada around the globe. You are watching Reality Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. Our program is watched across the in Canada and across globe. And I specially request viewers involved in real estate builder renovator home developer mortgage broker real estate broker brokerage uh, plumber painter electrician involved directly in real estate to reach out to to samina jabeen the founder of awaz entertainment at 4167878698090 to ask a special discount for those involved in the industry and their viewer of Realty Coffee Talk in Canada around the world you will get a very special package from them and you will be able to reach out so i request again please call 
Samina Jabeen at 416-786-9809 to subscribe to Awaz Entertainment. They have a very special package for viewers already coffee talk. Viewers, we're talking about home seller closing checklist. What step that a realtor, uh, a home seller has to do it? We have talked about gathering of documents to make sure all document agreement of purchase, all amendments, all waivers, everything is submitted to your lawyer. Mortgage document to make sure they can close out the mortgage charge against your property. Also to make sure if there's any line of credit has been did. If there is any lien, the lawyer will come back to you. You have to sign up paperwork, authorize the lawyer to pay out all the charges against your property. It's very, very important. Also continue to engage with your listing brokerage and your broker or broker record or salesperson to make sure he or she is coordinated with the buyer side to make sure everything is working, progressing toward closing. You are also notifying everyone, it happens. It happens to one of my client, someone was running a business from their home and mail was coming for months and months and they were, he was, he was a real estate brokerage. You don't do that. You notify everyone. So it becomes annoyance for a new buyer to pick up your email and mail and call you. And if you have a business running from your home, if you don't notify all the people, all the bills will be coming, cancel it, bills, invoices, checks, whatever. So it's important to notify everyone involved. Moving forward, you are moving there, moving from this house. Cancel your insurance only the day of closing. And also let them know that you are closing, you have sold the house, and this is a closing date, and closing date is the buyer's closing date. But the day you get the, the confirmation from your lawyer, through your realtor or through the lawyer, that your deal has closed, you notify at that moment, you cancel your insurance, and they cooperate with you. Cancel all utility effective the date of closing. But if you are in winter and some reason the property closes, doesn't close that day and is a weekend coming. Let's say mostly people do it on Friday. If it doesn't close, it's going to close on Monday. So what will happen to your property if you don't have heat, you don't have a gas, if you're in winter? Well, this is why it's important. Notify them the tentative date, closing date, but one is closed, you call them and so they can transfer to the new ownership. Clean your house thoroughly, it gives you a good impression and buyer will appreciate it. When they're moving in, they, they, their stuff is on the track and they don't want to come home and they start to place furniture and it's a dirty place. So. Clean your house thoroughly. Put all keys, remote, mailbox keys in the kitchen in an envelope with the instruction to email to your broker, listing broker, your lawyer, where the keys are located. And you will have one key outside. Lockbox, ask your realtor to put a lockbox. So you put the last key in that lockbox and when you take a picture, take a picture that you're putting a last key and, and time it. At this time, you put the key and it's locked. Then you walk away. After cleaning the house. So you also collect all the manuals, put them in the kitchen. Some people put all the manuals in the furnace room, where the majority of the equipment are. If you have a shelf there, even the kitchen, whichever it is, so it's visible. Shut down all the walls, especially the water, especially in winter. Some reason, gas stops. You, you, you missed the bill and you didn't pay. It's happened. If water is shut, you are not going to get any kind of... I'm talking about main watershed. You're not going to have any damage 
or freeze of water in the in the house. Walk through with a buyer to make sure that you have a happy buyer who is moving into the house, and they feel proud that you, they bought some nice house from a nice seller. So before closing, you always walk through it to make sure everything that you think is supposed to be done, nice windows are closed, and the filter of the furnace are replaced. You'll be shocked. Sometimes the people leave such a dirty filter in the furnace. And I tell you, if you have been so careless about using a dirty filter, then you have reduced the life of the, the, the furnace, the blower, because it need air, clean air. So it's very important that you are cleaning and putting a nice filter because when buyer is coming, they are moving in, they're shutting down. They have to do all those things because they're relocating one house, other one. There's a lot of stress on their mind. So having a, a new filter is a good courtesy. And then also put a small note, don't forget to turn on the water because you have turned off the wall and where the wall is located, mostly in the basement, depending on the house, some has a cold room, close to cold room, so open area. If people have finished the basement, it should be somewhere. So having this kind of instruction and ease for the buyer to come in, it shows a good, good nature of the person who have occupied their house and also a responsible person to so make sure that you are welcoming the buyer who's coming into a new house. And obviously you expect the same thing if you are upgrading going to another house. That other buy seller who's gonna give you, in this case, you are a buyer, will be doing the same thing for you. So COVID, because of COVID, things can happen. Mortgage can delay. Mortgage, if you're closing on Friday and the mortgage doesn't get, get through, then you have a challenge. You can have your stuff on the truck ready to move out. You have emptied the house. Your family is living with friends or hotel or whatever. So it's become a challenge. Be patient, be human, because things will happen. And realtor always try to accommodate our clientele that it happened, nothing gets done, Lawyer is telling us it's impossible to close on Friday, so you have a weekend to deal with it. Stuff, the truck gonna charge more money for holding on the stuff. This happened to our client one time. We empty our three garages and brought the furniture there because the truck guy was giving our female client a hard time. So we accommodated our client. Everything went okay, Monday deal closed. So this, this is the important thing you have to watch. Unforeseen things happen because of COVID lockdown. As you know, the Odeh government is easing up some restriction. You, you still need to follow social distancing. You also be a responsible person to wear mask. You keep that two meter distance. You also use sanitizer and gloves, whatever is possible. So, we, as we move forward toward our um, easing of the three-stage uh, removal of COVID, uh, you follow voluntary government guidelines, health guidelines, and follow those, those uh, instructions. And so we don't have those COVID spread of, of COVID. We take this opportunity to thank our health staff, the doctor, nurse, medical uh, staff, um, paramedic, our military, our security, our police, our armed forces who put their line, life on line to protect us. We salute them for their sacrifice and dedication to protect our freedom and keep us safe. So I take this opportunity to thank them on behalf of Realty Coffee Talk and Awaz Entertainment. May God bless all of you safe. May God bless Canada. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next Thursday at 7 p.m. on Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. You can watch this program on Awaz ENT 580, Facebook, uh, YouTube, 
Instagram simultaneously. Thank you. Bye for now. My name is Tahir Ali Qureshi. I'm a fellow of Rose Institute of Canada and Rose State Broker of Record for City Priority in Brokerage. Thank you and good night.